hey guys hey guys welcome back welcome back the second stars of the season we're gonna install the drum hub the entire hub brake pad everything on a 16 foot utility trailer uh, these trailers usually cost like five thousand dollars you know i got this one off the marketplace and we're rebuilding it so it was pretty fun uh this is what the entire assembly looks like and i was under the impression that i would have got it pre-packed with the bearings at least the the the, the large bearings in the back of the the the, the plating the drum plate but they didn't so i'll show you guys how to pack the bearings and you have to lubricate the bearings you have a lot of lubrication but we'll show you how that do in a minute um the first thing you have to do is well we located the four bolts that hold the entire assembly together <coughs> Which I think it was a 18 millimeter bolt on this trailer. Um, we're gonna start by removing the dust cap from the axle head, remove the safety pin, and then remove the nut. And you remove this safety pin, these type of pin goes in and you bend them to create the the seal so I'll un I'll, I'll straighten the pin slide a screwdriver inside and wedge it <clears throat> and if you can't get it out in one clean motion you can always just grab a, a, a pliers like I'm about to do and pull at it it's pretty simple to come out after you pull out the, the safety pin and remove the bolt it should comes off right off um, if you are just planning to replace our uh, the bearings because you can do this just to replace the bearing inside the assembly you want to be careful because there's the inside small bearings and a washer that's on the front piece after this bolt is taken out there's a washer and the bearings on the front but because I wasn't replaced using them I'm gonna just rip it off and throw it away and show you what the whole thing look like uh -huh. and those are the things falling out don't let yours fall out so now we'll have to remove this back plating as you can see the grease is worn there it is just totally messy but anyway So the plating is now off and your axle is stripped and look like this. Uh, this isn't the piece we need as yet. We need the, the back plate which has the electronic magnet and the, the brake shoe. And this is it. And one day I'll take the time on the next video to explain the difference between a drum brake which is an electronic brake and a hydraulic brake and the drum brake basically work the magnet turns on it pushes out the the metal brake shoes and it catches the outer part of the drum you hear about the outer part the inner part of the drum while the hydraulic pistol pushes it but anyway i guess i'm the uh, next time so after you install your drum, which is just sliding it on and tightening back the four bolts, it should look like this. And then you're going to go ahead and grease your axle shaft. And after you grease your axle shaft, you'll put on the outer drum like this. But it isn't time yet. Uh, I'll have to pack the bearings first. Excuse my ugly toe. I'll have to pack the bearings first. So this is the be You have two bearings and a washer and a seal. The washer goes on the outer part which will be towards the dust cap. The seal and the larger bearing is placed inside the, inside the drum on the back. So you'll put in your bearings first and then you'll put your seal on top of it and top it in. 
press it in basically make sure you you lubricate the bearings properly and be careful not to make it catch the inside of the drum because that would make the bricks fail be very very careful so we'll apply a generous amount of it to the the bearings and the inside of the drum and then you'll place the seal on top of it level what i do is i put something over it and then beat down so it sinks all at once do not try to top it in a ring i place this piece of wood over it and press it in you can put a block over it like a piece of wooden block and then beat down on that but make sure that it's very level afterwards it's just a matter of sliding on the the, the drum brick cover installing the small bearing which you'll have to lubricate install the washer tighten the bolt and then put back your safety pin like i've done right here after that all you'll need to do is put back your dust cap cover and mission completed make like work of it make like work of it thanks for watching like subscribe comment you know what i mean maybe i got something wrong i remember all review is good review the good the bad and the ugly thanks guys